So hello everybody, how are you today? In today's video I'm going to show you how you can copy, paste and measures in Power BI without installing an external tool because I know that there's quite a many people that cannot install software on their computer. So let's get started. Let me show you how it is done. Okay, so just a heads up, they are still building upstairs so there might be a few cuts in the video just trying to block the drilling but hopefully we will make it fairly uh, that I will be able to block all that stuff out. Anyhow, let's get started. If you cannot install external tools so you don't want to learn a new tool, I'm going to show you a way to copy paste measures. I believe that this is the way the external tools do it, but I'm not sure actually. So I have here my Northwind data set and what we're going to do is open it up because we need to actually save these as a uh, Power BI template file. The reason for that is because the data model gets exposed. In the PVX file, the data model is coded in here because I guess believe there's no data, they just expose the model. And to show you how it's done, we're going to create a is this a new table? Insert where is new table? I think that's a new table. So we're going to do a copy of the order details that has a ton of measures. I'm going to show you in a second. Order details to, to, and this is just going to be a copy of order details. Let's say that for whatever reason you need to create a new copy and then as you can see obviously you lose all the measures. This happens in Power Query quite a lot. I'll show you how to do so you don't lose the measures but anyhow. So here I have on my original table all the measures and here on the details table I have nothing and I want to copy these in here. So maybe, I don't know, new source or whatever. So if we go to save as, oh first, wait, 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 no, but first we need to save this, <laughs> otherwise it's not going to save. So I saved it and now that I save it, I'm going to save it as, save as. A pivot file, right? Okay. And uh, sure. You can put any text in there. And now if we go to where it gets saved, here we have the new pivot file. What, I, what you're going to do is to click F2 and change this to a zip file. So Power BI file is actually a zip file that contains tons of other elements in there. We are going to uh, extract the data into a new folder and make sure that you make well, you, in this case you have to make a copy thing for that but make sure that you create a copy right so here you have the data model the schema and this is actually the one that we need to open so open it with you know text editor that doesn't leave if you open it with word you will put in things that you don't want so don't do that and here we're going to search for all the details it is there and here you have the tables you have actually all the tables you can check this file out but you have all the tables you have the columns you have tons of stuff so here you have the other tables or the details table and here are all the columns quantity partitions and here between partitions and annotations you'll find the measures so here is the measures what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut and paste because if you copy and paste you cannot have two measures that have the same name, you already know that, so you will get an error when you open the Power BI file. So either you change the name of the measure or you cut. In this case, I'm going to scrap the old table, put the new one, so I'm going to actually cut and paste. So I'm going to select all the measures. Total sales, this is measure, until annotations. And again, I'm going to cut. You can copy and then change the name. And then we're going to find order details too, which is in there. And then we need to find where partitions are. There are partitions and annotations, and you're just going to paste that thing and save it. Okay? <laughs> you need to do it. Close that. And this is the new thing. You're going to copy that and put it in the here, the zip file. 
I'm going to use to open, not extract the zip file. Probably you can upzip that. Maybe I should have done that. Okay, and then I'm going to paste, copy and replace, go back. And then I'm going to change these to a pivot file again. And fingers crossed that nothing breaks. It should be okay, you know, if you've done the, the steps carefully, you should be able to get the new measures in there. Uh, but make a copy, make a copy. But have always a copy of your Power BI files when you're a developer. I mean, it has happened to me, all kinds of stuff. But it's always nice that maybe you lose only one day of work or just a few hours, right? So let's see. Come on, baby. It's loaded, which is a good thing. It means that we haven't compromised anything in the background. So hopefully in a second we will see all the new measures move to the order details table instead of all the details table two instead of the original order details and then we can get rid of that if needed so come on all the details do the fingers crossed wonderful it copied the folders also so that is really really neat now this is order details too. This is referring to order details because we just copy the thing. So to avoid them from breaking, probably you need to delete that and you know give them the name. But it that's just peanuts. Okay, guys. So I hope the video was useful. If you want to have more Power BI tips, I have more videos there. So go and check them out. Otherwise, I will see you on Friday. We will talk about how I think when I create DAX measures that maybe it will help you wrap your head around how DAX works and uh, I'll see you then and we will also create a, a useful DAX measure obviously so I'll see you on Friday until then take care bye, -bye.